Welcome to this Friday's Travel and Young special edition with special guests Martin and his family. Join us in Northwest Jutland to visit Spatruk Borg. We're the Youngs. We've spent our lives traveling the world. And in 2018, we moved from Chicago, Illinois to Copenhagen, Denmark. Now we want to share with you how our new lives abroad is keeping us young. Keeping us young. Are helping to keep us young. All right, welcome to Traveling Young in this Friday edition, which is leg, I don't know, four or five of the Young family vacation through Jutland. And in this case, special guest Martin is here. You may recognize him from the car video where I cornered him into trying <laughs> on Tried on Tuesday some Cornered. Budweiser. And uh, the funny story of this is I had four left from then. And we were in Jutland, and he was in Jutland. And I said, hey, do you want to meet us at this castle? And he's like, eh. And I said, I got those four beers I'll give to you. And he goes, yeah, yeah, I'll go. I'll meet you there. <laughs> um, yeah, and, well worth the drive. <laughs> yeah, and you enjoyed it um, after. Yeah. And But today I'm giving you some different beer because I felt like I needed to redeem you oh, yeah. and tell you that I do have high quality beer in yeah. my refrigerator. So this is from the Beard Brew place in Rannis that we went to. Um, but this is the Imperial Stout. And you can see this logo is a guy with a very long beard. <laughs> Again, I'm I'm a sucker for good marketing and <laughs> images. Um, very good beer today. You so can relate like to the beer. Yeah, yeah, I can. Although I trimmed my beard today. It's like a meal. It's so good. Yeah, I could eat this. <laughs> you could eat it. <laughs> yeah, just get it in solid today. form. And oh yeah. Maybe like aspic, some like beer aspic that you can oh, slice and eat up. That sounds almost like an actual Danish dish. <laughs> it does. Yeah. Yeah. And so, um, what? Tell me. You know, we were in Yulin for our family holiday. Yeah. But. You spend a lot of time in Yulin in the yeah. summer because... Yeah, my father-in-law's summer house is there and uh, that's where me and my family go every summer. And so we're actually only an hour away from where you guys stayed. And uh, it was really cool to catch up. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I thought, hey, like, it was kind of like you were, this, this castle was kind of in between yeah. where we were yeah. and where you were. So it was a great place to kind of spend the day and yeah. bring the kids. And, and it's actually funny because like it's right across the water from where we were. So if you had a boat, we could probably be there in 20 minutes. <laughs> But we had to drive an hour around the water. <laughs> yeah, as did we. We had to, we were up north a bit. We had to drive through Skiva and then over west to meet you there. Yeah. Um, but then afterwards, I convinced you to go with us to Morris yeah. and uh, and have lunch too. So yeah, it was a good day out. Yeah. Um, but let's stop talking about it actually All and right. go ahead and show um, our day at say it again because I'm going to say it wrong. Spatrupodig. <laughs> There you go. See, I bring natives with me in order to... I can blame it on natives. him if it's wrong. Eh. <laughs> then I can blame it on my norwegian -ness. There you go, there you go. Yeah. All right, well, let's check it out. Cool. Hi, you guys. We are here at Sputsopbo, uh, which is a beautiful medieval castle here in Yulin. Um, just over there are some really pretty medicinal gardens and the castle itself. But right now, we're going to take a trip down this little trail because there's bees. There's a couple beehives down here and they make their own honey and so we're gonna come and see where the honey gets made by the bees not like honey and we do like honey we have lots of honey we have honey from all over the world actually but none from but none from here Spitrup none from Spoot Bowl. but we'll we'll get some let's check it out let's see so they've got they have these three hive boxes here, and bees are actually really gentle. Um, they're not very aggressive, so you can just walk right up and they really won't do anything to you. But you can come around to the front and we can see them coming out. And we'll try to not disturb them, but you can see them coming in and out. Hmm. Oh, ooh, there's a bunch on that one over there. Yeah. Nice. And a lot of them are, are going just right across over to the medicinal garden there that has tons of beautiful flowers and lavender and all kinds of stuff to make the honey taste yummy. I think I said that right. 
Um, and it's really beautiful and I keep seeing these around and I always thought that it was like a Queen Anne's lace, but apparently it's not. It's extremely toxic. Hey Martin, you wanna try it? <laughs> yeah, I'll have Yeah, this is the yeah. next try it on Tuesday. Um, Hold on, let me just look at the, there's yeah, the skull and crossbones. Skull and crossbones, don't touch it. And uh, I looked it up to see like how, because I learned about it after I got, I touched a stinging nettle and somebody said this was way worse. So I looked up the photos of it and it is indeed way worse. Like it looks like you got bit by a shark. So don't ever touch it. No, I, <laughs> now I feel like I'm smelling it. Yeah, uh -oh. too close. Yeah, get too, in there, get let's, in there. let's back, back up. Yeah. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> Martin, you look like you're in your element here. You're like, yeah, you belong with that long flowing hair. In I don't nature. know about that Oakland A's hat, but besides that. <laughs> uh, this is my home. This is where my heart is. This is where your heart is yeah, in, a, yeah. in a castle. In a different life. This is where I live. Would you have been defending the moat? No, I'd just be chilling outside the moat. Chilling outside. <laughs> Asking to get in. Yeah. Not being led hey guys, in. what's up? Come not, on, Not let being me in. led. Yeah, exactly. I have poisonous plants, come on. <laughs> got to walk around the grounds of Stuzhoborg and it looks really beautiful the weather is so nice a perfect day to be here and now we're gonna go inside let's have a look hey Maya yes what would you use this room for if this was your home if this was my home this would be the dance room, for the sure. The what room? The dance room, party room, yeah. you know? Just go in here, all, all. <laughs> back in our house like a couple weeks later yeah it's still awesome that you're here by the way yeah i don't see you enough i love being back it feels like a, not a second but a third home <laughs> yeah i mean and it's like i've seen you i've gotten been fortunate enough to see you a bunch recently yeah and now soon you're gonna go back to norway and i'm just gonna have to come visit you yeah so sucks. one day future video with us up in norway hanging out with martin but in this case we were at this book Bow, bow, maybe. <laughs> yeah, and we had so much fun. I mean, I, I, I mean, it was just so relaxing. The setting yeah. um, next to the water was just yeah. like quiet. We had a beautiful day. I mean, it was really neat. Maya loves archery, so she had a ton of fun um, doing the archery stuff. Where everywhere we go, where there's archery, that's ba if I just say there's a chance with bows and arrows, she's in. It doesn't matter <laughs> what it is. Um, but Maya is 17, so how old are your kids and yeah. what was it like for them? Well, so my kids are four and seven and they loved it too. And they even got to try some archery. Uh, thanks for loaning us some money. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> and they also loved the castle, uh, running up and down the steep stairs, which are not dangerous at all. <laughs> I love, you, you reminded me of our parenting style, which is just, <laughs> things happen. 
just let it happen. Right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're gonna get hurt. <laughs> I don't want them to get hurt, but yeah. they might. But they loved it. Uh, they loved the, you know, they see castles on shows on TV, so I think it's cool for them to see it in real life. And they had this, like, you could fight with sort of swords, padded swords yeah, yeah, yeah. and stuff. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, I think you went into full attack mode. I didn't record that because I didn't want, you know, Child Protective Services to Thank come by later. That, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I owe yeah. you one. <laughs> that was it. But it was neat because, like, the... I mean, it's not a yeah. real decorative place inside. There's not, like, a bunch of furniture. And as you can see from some of the videos, it's, like, really open. Yeah. But it's super clean. And for the kids, I mean, they could just yeah. run around in these rooms and not be, like, afraid of, like, knocking yeah. over some vase that costs more than their lives. Yeah, exactly. You know? Like, sometimes you go to these old places and it's filled with stuff you're not supposed to touch and stuff you got to be careful with. And you have to, like, constantly tell the kids, no, stop, stop, stop. But this place, it was actually nice. They were actually ahead of us at some point. Yeah. Where <laughs> I had to run and catch yeah, up with yeah, yeah. them. But that's super nice with kids. Yeah, I mean, we spent, I think it was four or five hours there maybe yeah. something like that yeah, yeah, yeah and I and you said when we left that we, you could have spent even more time oh yeah with honestly them. and also the outside area was super cool because it's it's green it's open you know it's just a nice place to relax yeah and they had we were reading that there's like a jousting arena there yeah. which is close to where the archery stuff was and yeah. they said that they had these like medieval fighting yeah, championships yeah, yeah. there at some point and then I started googling I'm like I'm gonna go to one of these <laughs> the next one's in like Finland and not, what, there will be a time that maybe I'll talk Martin into going with me to see these medieval fighting tournaments. But no, they, we're gonna do it. Yeah, we're, we're absolutely. Gonna see it. We're yeah. gonna do it. But it was there not when we were there, but in the past, like a couple yeah. years ago. I mean, so there's like a ton of space for these kinds of yeah, things, yeah, and it's yeah, just yeah. a really cool, um, really cool area. And one of the things we did was we bought some mead, which I think you drank almost all the mead that you bought. We <laughs> haven't opened ours yet, but you were still on vacation more than us. Yeah, this was like the end yeah. of our vacation. And we came back, and I've got the bottles here. We'll open it up later after this beer has gone. We needed something to wash down the bud. <laughs> yeah, it's wise. Wise move to basically get that taste out of your mouth. Um, but with mead comes bees. And yes. as you saw, there were some bee-keeping stuff there, um, the bee houses. And we are huge honey fans. So today's Friday Fact is about honey and the young's obsession with honey. So we bought some honey while we were there. This is the... Uh, Spurtrop boar honey nice. that we bought that came from the bees that we saw in the video But even crazy enough. I've got tons of other honey. This is only a, a selection of our collection here Whenever we travel we'd buy honey at different <clears> places <throat> that we went. Yeah, this is what really started my honey Obsession, which is this is a very small one from Paris and basically in Paris. There's a bunch of famous buildings like the um I remember the names of these things, like the Opera House and other places where there's bees on the roof and they would actually get honey from those bees and then they would sell it in these little jars. And so I spent like two months in, in Paris once for work and I, it was over Christmas and I was like, this is going to be the best Christmas gift. I'm going to bring like a super unique gift to my parents yeah. and find this unique honey that you can <clears throat> only get in one place that comes from these bees and these famous buildings in downtown Paris. And in my journey to find this jar, I went to so many different stores and I kept buying jars like well if I don't find it I need another one I'll give them something I ended up just getting a bunch of honey and just having it and I just love it I love honey and tea I love honey spread on like toast yeah and if it's like spreadable honey I gotta say I was surprised because you mentioned it when you saw the bees and I never never heard about it before so it's like a whole new side of you yeah <laughs> that you look, and, and so that you guys are getting to know now too. Yeah. and so whenever I go to Paris there's a special place called the uh, Mel factory which we call it basically like the honey museum. And this is a pear honey. So they have it from like basically bees that were pollinating different types of flowers in different parts of France. And they all have very unique flavors and it's so good. And then this is one that I bought from uh, Moon when we were there. Um, Linne, what is that for? What does that mean? Linde? Linde. Yeah, I, I don't know if it's a place or... No, I think, thing. I assume it's like a type a of flower or flower, something. But yeah. I haven't opened this one yet. Um, but the most unique one that I have yeah, this is, cool. is when Mai and I went to South Korea, we went up to the DMZ where you could see North Korea and there was a shop that sold honey from North Korea. <laughs> I haven't opened this. I'm a little bit fearful, um, but it's a neat little memento from the trip is North Korean honey. And it's just neat to have honey from different parts of the world that come from different types <laughs> of flowers because they all taste so different. 
I think it's, you know, you might be missing out on one of the treasures of your collection yeah. by not having that. Maybe it's the best one. It could Nobody be. gets their hands on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were very unique in having this. Yeah. But the problem is I have more honey than I can consume because there's another like 30 jars maybe <laughs> inside because we just always buy honey. Yeah. And it's so much fun. So the Friday fact for this week is the Young's obsession with honey. Yeah. And we bought some when we were there with you. Yeah. Spotable. Spotable. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me here and letting me rope you into doing this while you're at my house of to have course. dinner and uh, and hang out tonight. I can be roped into. into I, as long as there's a beer involved, it seems like it's super easy. <laughs> Anything goes. <laughs> Anything goes. Yeah. Right. And and you had a good time. I had a good time. I'll yeah. be back. Yeah. And we had a great time when we went to Morris and had dinner afterwards and hung out with the family more. Yeah. I can't wait till we can. Maybe next summer we'll find you in Jutland again. Somewhere. I think Jutland will be the next. Uh, <laughs> you know where we can all meet up in vacations yeah for sure a actually i think we're going to meet up at some point in berlin yes this is going to be down the line i don't know when but there will be a surprise berlin video oh yes when martin myself our good friend nadia <clears throat> all of us go down and go to berlin and do some crazy things in berlin but we're not going to say anything else because it's going to be no, months from now before but it's going to be good it's, it's going to be, be awesome. very different yeah all right well that's it for today thank you so much we uh, appreciate you joining us Thank you, Martin, for joining us. Thank you for having me. Very good. All right. So for now, we're just going to say goodbye. Bye.